Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So it's Tuesday today, and there has been a patch release for Medieval Engineers, and I wanted to see exactly what it was all about. They were talking about introducing this new AI feature, something called Barbarians. Now, the jobs of these Barbarians is not actually to attack you, the player, but to actually attack statues and possibly constructions from what I can see. So as you can see, we've got an actual king statue here that's what they're main, meant to attack but they're also just destroying this castle completely so you're gonna have to work out ways of stopping them from destroying things they don't really look like barbarians or what you'd imagine them to look at they're very clean shaven at the moment and they look extremely clean in wearing a white sort of robe but i guess that is soon to change now they've got some quite interesting pathfinding and this is really cool because it's possibly something to look at as well for future of space engineers and their AI. You can see how they're walking around this place navigating and they're looking not just for ways out, but just a ways to destroy the place and just completely mangle all the locations. Some guy's heading up there and he's breaking the barrier down. Wow, it's absolutely crazy. I can imagine just the frenzy of these guys attacking. You can only play six for the moment, but this guy's headed inside and he's started to try to destroy a staircase. Wow, anyway, let's actually have a look at some more features of these guys. So the first thing I want to show you is actually the attack here feature. And as I am getting stuck on one of the objects, these barbarians are tearing this place apart right around me. So if I press 2 here, all the barbarians will change their mode and actually come and attack the position near to me as they destroy the staircase. And that one's going to go down the hole, I think. No, he's not. He's alright. They're all moving around in some sort of angry mob, trying to smash the way out. Look at that, absolutely crazy, the power of them to break a stone wall like that as well. They've torn this throne room apart in seconds, so we've just equipped it from here. We've got this bots menu with the barbarians themselves and the attack here option. So if we click number two again, we should bring them. See, let's see if we can actually lure them all up to this second floor area with the number two. Or maybe we can actually lure them out. Maybe it works in like a circular sort of area around them. So if I tell them to attack here, will they come running out the side? Let's see, hit two. And it looks like they're trying to push the way through the side of that castle to actually get out to me. Or maybe they're even using the stairs. Just absolutely beautiful. So one of the first things I want to talk about is their pathing. As you can see, they're destroying a wall in the castle over there behind me. And their idea is to destroy these king sort of statues. So let's place just one of them here and just see how he makes his way over to that king statue. So he's not noticed that there's actually stairs there yet at the moment. So it looks like the AI is in a very sort of early stage. But let's put another king statue in and see what he does with this one. Okay. So he's trying again to get there. And this time, he, no, he's changed his mind a bit. Or maybe he's trying to path his way. Yeah, he's pathed his way to the first statue now. Will he automatically target the second statue? Yes, very good. Very good indeed. It's really ingenious. I just can't wait to see what further sort of features they'll do. And let's see if he recalls when we actually use the attack here option. So, number one, come to me, sir. Yeah, there we go. Very cool. Uh, too bad you can't, like, use these as your own sort of minions and throw them at other people's castles. Now, that would be really cool. And you can see, as with the attack me option, you're just following my current location. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, there's also been additions to the blocks in the game and some changes. So, if we go to the G menu, we can actually have a look that we have a rounded timber block now this could be perfect for building all them sort of log cabins and it has all the features of the other block itself and if we go back to the g menu we can also have a look at two other blocks that have been slightly modified you'll notice the catch block and the lock block now have the plus symbol next to them that means that they can actually be transformed so you can see we've got different variations we've got one that comes out two sides we've got one that comes out two sides and doesn't have an extra piece on and then we've got a block side so this these ones are perfect for placing up against walls so we can place a wall in for instance and we can get a nice timbery piece against it and it'll sit with its back flush against it absolutely perfect and we've got the same with the standard one like so you can place the back up against a wall and it'll work just as well perfect for all them winches and mechanisms that we'll be building in the future so another new feature is the rope ending point can now snap automatically onto the log as it goes around the corners or whatever it's being attached to. So it's just a lot easier to use in the long run and much faster to attach rope to rather than fanning around trying to adjust this to different angles. A very interesting new feature. Now there's probably a few questions that are also running in your head about barbarians still. So let's see if they can do the basic and cross a drawbridge. So we'll place a few in and let's see if they can actually cross this drawbridge 
Well, it looks like some of them have successfully done it. Some of them have also fell off, so that could just be a path of luck. This guy here seems to be navigating and extremely well. Some of them obviously have their issues, but it's very early stages for AI at the moment, and just seeing another sort of AI component in the game is absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to clean up this barbarian sort of mess, and I'll see you next time. So if you were thinking, why don't you just put a barbarian in a cage above the pit of death? Well, that's exactly what I was thinking, so let's, let's have a go at that, see exactly what happens. <laughs> oh, absolutely amazing. Oh, let's do that again. That, that was too fun to avoid doing another one of. Right, space them out a bit and place him in there. Let's see what he does. Oh, this ki Oh! <laughs> oh, look at him, he's died! Oh, wow. Wow, these cages are going to cause some serious problems.